Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss the concepts about singleton class. So, what is a singleton class? Singleton class is a such a class which can provide you only one instance or a single object through the whole life cycle of that particular class. If you try to create another object, it will point you to the same previous instance which was initially created. So that means you can only have only one instance is this particular class. Now the next question comes, when should we use this? So we need to find the scope of such uh, objects uh, which need to be uh, needs to be initialized only once in any application like uh, every application follows a log process right so we initialize the log classes and then the logs are uh, you know get then the logs gets written in the log file now in every class we initialize the logging process right so if we every time if we create a new object of that log class uh, we are going to consume a lot much memory which is not required because we can use the same logger instance in every class and write our logs so that is the way that is the best use of singleton class the other use if we can consider in every service layer we used to uh, utilize the DAO interface uh, to fetch all the data from the database now say we have one address DAO which is responsible for building many objects say in a system we have patients hospitals and doctors everybody is so patient can have address as well as the hospital can as well as the doctors can so in every service say patient service hospital service we are going to call the address DAO and we don't want to create new instances of address DAO we can use the same one because this is nothing but the abstract method which can which will be you know responsible for calling the implemented method in the subclass so simply we don't need separate objects for this as this is going to pull addresses for different entities so we are going to use the singleton class or singleton concept there also so these are the best real-time examples which we can uh, discuss in an interview uh, and now let's understand how uh, the singleton class works or how we can make our own singleton classes so first what I have created here I have created one class and I just uh, named it as singleton class you can name it as anything now in the main class what I am doing I am creating two objects of that uh, class and I am trying to print and if I print you can see I am getting two different hash code that means in memory these objects are different they are pointing to different memory location that is why the hash code is different right so that means this class is not singleton because right now it is having two instances if I create one more instance below it will give another hash code other than these two that means each time we are calling uh, the default constructor of this particular class we are gonna get a new object in the memory uh, which is uh, completely different from each other now our goal is to achieve uh, only a single instance uh, so for that we need to stop uh, user to create uh, uh, an object of this class using the uh, default constructor so for that what we can do the very first step we should do is we will declare the default constructor private okay and this can be done by this so we can say the constructor is private so that means now now if we go to this class you see we cannot call the constructor as as I have made this the private the visibility of this uh, particular uh, constructor is limited to only this class only uh, this method is not visible in uh, our main class so we cannot do this but again if we cannot do this we need to uh, bring the uh, object of the singleton class right so how we can do that to do that as we cannot create object of this particular class but again we want something to happen within this class and we know that this stat whatever we write in static method uh, runs in the class load uh, class loader time not in the object creation time so that means we can instantiate one static variable with the same class reference so uh, what I am doing I am creating an object 
of this class in the same class okay that's it and let call it instance suppose so here we can see what I have done I have created an instant of this class in this class itself and this is going to create a new object of this class okay okay so as we have declared the default constructor of this particular class as private that means we are restricting the object creation of this particular class by using the new keyword so no one can call the new singleton class to create an object so no one can call this particular uh, line of code to create an object outside of this class as this is private so this can be only called inside this class which is being done here so here we can see and as we have written in a static block so that means this particular uh, instance will get initialized with the new object when the class gets load that means the object is already ready so now what we can do as the object is already initialized in the very beginning uh, we are not gonna run this method again and again right this is only at as this already happened in the class loading time the value is already assigned to the instance now what we can do whoever trying to create an object of this particular singleton class we can simply return this instance to them because uh, this instance is initialized only once and uh, this is the same object we are gonna return every time whenever they call the uh, whenever they ask for the object so for that we need to create a method I am going to make, in, uh, make that as public as this particular method is going to be called from outside of this uh, class so we have to make this public and also we have to make this static as we are going to return this instance and as this is already static we, we, we have to use the static variables inside the static block only and the return type of the, uh, and the return type of this particular method will be singleton class because we are going to return an object of this particular class and let's name this class and uh, name this method as get instance okay and if we do that we can simply return the instance We can return the instance every time now so to get the to create the object uh, of the singleton class what we have to do we have to call the get instance method and as the method we have declared as static so we can directly call this method by putting the class name first and then if we put a dot it is gonna it is allowed to call the method and I am going to repeat the same step for object 2 as well as we can see now we are gonna print both the objects below and if we run this you see both hash code of this uh, two objects are same so that means uh, there are two people trying to get the object of the singleton class but they are actually getting the same object as we can see the hash code are same and we can see this particular class is also thread safe how as the instance is already created say multiple threads are trying to access this particular get instance method but we don't need to worry it is gonna return the instance every time but here we have one problem in this particular singleton class which is as we are initializing this particular instance at the very beginning in the class loading time so that means this is a eager load this is a eager initialization uh, even though we don't wanna say no one is going to call this method in future uh, they don't need this instance but still we have this instance ready in our memory right because because of the eager load so what we can do instead of creating this particular new object uh, in the class loading time what we can do uh, we can initialize at this at the very beginning as null and then when this particular method is getting called then only we are going to return a new instance so for that what we can do we can put a check like if instance equals equals null then only 
create the new object so what we can do we can say instance equals new singleton class and we are going to return the object so if the instance is currently null it will create a new object and return and the very next occurrence when another thread or another person is trying to create a object of this uh, particular class uh, now this uh, this instance is already initialized and we are going to return the same old uh, initialized uh, object let's make sure let's run this and you see both the hash codes are same again now if we look uh, this particular code closely let's think about a scenario where two threads are trying to access this particular method at the same time so what will happen if they both hit this particular method at the same time they will both find the instance as null at the very beginning this statement is going to execute two times for both of the threads or for multiple threads multiple concurrent threads and then there is a chance we are gonna get uh, more than one object and return that so to stop this scenario what we can do we can declare this particular method as synchronized that means if two or more threads are trying to hit this method at the same time one have to wait for the completion of the other thread that means once one thread is done with its work then only the other thread is allowed to execute or hit this particular method but at this point also we are seeing if there are multiple threads looking for the object of the singleton class they have to wait for a long time so what we can do instead of uh, making this whole method as synchronized we can make this particular code synchronized and for that we need to use a synchronized block so to do that what i can do i can create a synchro a synchronized block and we have to tell the compiler that what needs to be synchronized and there we can pass its own class dot class and inside this method what we are going to do we are going to do this but again before doing that what we are going to do we are going to check the if if the object is already created or not again why i am going to tell you so and then we are going to put this thing inside so let's uh, analyze this scenario say two threads have came at the same time they'll they'll both find this as null they'll both get inside of this particular if statement but now one has to wait and one will start executing when the first thread is uh, executing this particular uh, block it is checking the uh, null check again and then it finds that the instance is already not initialized and they are getting the new object suppose and then when it is done the first thread the second thread is waiting here at uh, at this synchronized block uh, synchronized block point then what it will do it will find that the uh, instance is already initialized because the previous thread have done that so they are going to get out of this particular if statement and get the instance that way we are not stopping multiple threads uh, to hit this particular method instead so if now multiple threads are coming before going to the synchronized block before going to the waiting stage they can see that the instance is already null in the outside right so they are not going to hit the synchronized block so there is no waiting we have reduced the waiting time so only waiting time will occur one once at the very beginning when the first thread has uh, came for creating the object in the very next occurrences even there are concurrency even there are multiple uh, threads are trying to hit this particular method uh, in the same time they are not going to reach this particular block of code they will fail this condition and they are going to get the same instance uh, in java uh, we call this term as double checked lock Uh, this is very important topic uh, this is being asked in many interview questions as well thank you guys for watching this video
uh, i hope you have enjoyed this and uh, i hope it is going to help you uh, in interviews or clearing your concepts on singleton class uh, please uh, subscribe this channel as this is a very new channel please uh, help me uh, i'm with my knowledge in it industry i'll try to simplify complex problems of java and present in front of you so thanks so much thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like the video please hit the like button also uh, please subscribe the channel as this is a very new channel i am trying my best to uh, clear all your concepts on java on important topic and i am going to create multiple videos on this kind of topic if you want me to create any particular video on any topic so please put in a comment and also please share it with your friends thank you